homemade kebab. That can be interesting. I got it. I got it. Squid on a stick. Yeah, squid on a stick. It's a finger food and a takeaway food all in one. It's great. Our troubles are over. Squid on a stick's gonna be the thing that puts this place on the map. Honey, if you bury that thing in the back of my neck, you're just gonna wreck the blade. It's a real expensive cleaver. We don't make them anymore. Squid on a stick is an even stupider idea than owning a restaurant that only serves squid. Honey, you gotta remember what they said to Colonel Harlan Sanders back in 1956, right? A chicken restaurant, Colonel Sanders? You must be mad. <laughs> That's madness. You can count me in. Honey, we're gonna be the Baskin Robbins of seafood. I think Irma's on to something, Fred. Squid is nice and all, but maybe a little diversification would be good. Who asked you anyway, Gaston? You're just a drifter, for Christ's sake. What do you know? Well, I know this much, that anybody can become a drifter if they try and sell somebody something that they don't want. Now, I have this recipe for barbecue. Barbecue? Any idiot can do barbecue. Not my barbecue. Well, look, thanks for your help, but I pay you to clean up. Now, just clean up, okay? Hey, Phil. Morning, Fred. How you doing, Irma? Tough night? Tough ain't the word. Between the muggers and the killers, I'm getting too goddamn old for this shit. Well, we got your squid sandwich coming right up. No offense, but I don't think I could stomach squid McMuffin today. Hey, Phil. Let me guess, squid. <laughs> hey, I'm sorry for what Fred said before. Well, the man's a visionary. I respect that. What I can't figure out is what a classy lady like you is doing with a guy like him. Well, maybe it's like you said, he has a vision. Uh-huh. You ought to leave him and come live with me. I've got vision too, you know. Well, that's sweet, but, uh... Thanks for the offer. I'll see you tomorrow. Would you like me to walk you home? No, I'm okay. I can take care of myself. Guys, Fred's gonna be home soon. Bye. Bye. you to feel free to remind me if I'm wrong. But last week, did we or did we not have a conversation in which you agreed you would deliver into my hands yesterday the three months back rent that you owe me? Yes, sir, we did say something along those lines. And what day is today? Is today yesterday? No. Today is today. <laughs> And do you know how I know that today is today? Because if today were yesterday, I'd have a check in my hands. Mr. Chumley, business is picking up. I mean, if you could just find it in your heart to give me a little more time. Um, can I get you something to eat? No. The only thing that I want from you is my money. Well, I, I could write you a check, but, the but you ain't got it, right? No, sir. I'm gonna be back tomorrow with an eviction notice and a new set of locks. One other tiny little thing. You're one lousy cook. <laughs> Don't 
Mr. Chumley. I'm, I'm sorry. I don't, I don't know what came over me. Mr. Chumley. Mr. Chumley, are you all right? I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Go crazy! I'm calling the cops! You hear the oh, cops? Oh, Mr. Mr. Chumley, please. You don't understand. Mr. The cops! Mr. Chumley! How oh, the other half lived. <laughs> Well, I was walking home, and all of a sudden, I felt kind of sexy. You're home late. What kept you? What's the matter? Mr. Chumley stopped by today after you left. Oh, no. No, honey, look, it's not as bad as you think. Oh. Really. Now, listen to me. You still got a little room left in one of your credit cards, right? Right? So, we take some of that money and we buy a whole ton of pork. Oh, pork. It's the other white Oh, meat. shut up. Fr just shut what? up, Why Fred. Not? You should be thinking about how to keep us off the street, not how to put us even deeper in debt. I've given you every penny I have and I've got nothing to show for it. Well, what am I supposed to do? I don't know how to give up. Look, if you were to tell me right now that you never want to see me again, I'd understand. All I can say is, I'm sorry. You're not going to get rid of me that easily. I married you for richer, for poorer. Besides, you owe me a shitload of money. I think I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna make us some coffee. There's no point doing that today, Gaston. We're being evicted. Fred and Irma's is history. Well, this is town. Hey, Phil. What a night. I'm so goddamn hungry I could actually eat one of those stupid squid sandwiches. We're only serving coffee today, Phil. Don't you have any eggs or something? I don't know. We may have a couple left. And steaks? Steak and eggs. Sounds great. Uh, I didn't want to say anything because I was afraid that you guys would tell me not to. Um, but you know that barbecue idea that I was talking about? Well, I, I took the initiative and spoke with this supplier that I know, and he gave me a really good deal. I hope you're not angry with me. I ain't angry. I'm starved. Come on, let's throw one of those babies on the grill. I hope you like it, officer. It's been specially cured. It's a secret old family recipe. God, that smells good. Even the coffee tastes better. Hey, Fred. Yeah. Your landlord's a guy named Chumley, right? Uh huh. Why? You found his car in an alley near here. That and his empty wallet. What happened? Don't know. Looked like there was a hell of a struggle, though. Blood all over the place. Blood? Is he dead? Don't know. There was no body. The only other thing we know for sure is that he never made it home last night. Judging from what I saw in that car, if he's walking around, it's a miracle. Now, don't you overcook that, Irma. I like it nice and rare. Whatever you've got cooking on that grill smells incredible. Throw it on for me, would you? Make that two of them. Ladies? Yeah. Weston, can I have a word with you, please? Handkerchief. 
Where'd you get it? He gave it to me. You're lying. I can't believe you. I do you a favor and you call me a liar. There's your steak, if you like it. Mm. That's incredible. God, you know, I can't believe what you told us about Mr. Chumley. The city's turning into a goddamn sewer. I'll tell you, it makes early retirement look better and better. If only I could find something else to do with myself. Throw one on for me. Hey, Gaston? Is this all the steak there is? No, there's more back here in the freezer. Well, could you bring some out front for me, please? Sure thing. I'm sorry, Gaston. I, I don't mean to accuse you of anything. I just... It's okay, man. I understand. Hey, Gaston? We got people waiting. Fred, uh, can you hold this for me? Yeah, sure. Killed Mr. Chumley. Jeez, Fred, you make it sound so ugly. You killed Mr. Chumley! Yes, okay, okay, I killed him. Just hold that door open. Gaston, Fred, where are you? We've got customers. He'll be right out there, Irma. Fred, get a grip. Huh? Huh? It's a dog-eat-dog dog world out there. And we're all just different flavors of Alpha. They don't keep the door open long, they'll spoil. Fifteen hundred dollars today. Wow. Well, this is what the restaurant business is like. What's wrong? Well, you know, it's just... you don't like making money. Gaston, you're a genius. How would a guy like you ever end up on the streets, huh? Well, you know how it is. A run of bad luck, and there you are. Mm. Well, I'm going to take some steaks out of the freezer. No, no. Um, I'll do it. Um. Why don't you put the chairs on the table, okay? <sighs> you and me gotta talk. Yeah, you're damn right we gotta talk. Gotta stop. I'm gonna call the cops. And what are you gonna tell them, Fred? That I killed your landlord because you owed him money? Well, there's not a whole lot of motive in that. And besides, you're the one that attacked him with a knife last night. And there were lots of witnesses, all those guys that live on the street. <clears throat> and I wasn't even the one that cooked him. Your wife did that. So. You're going to keep your mouth shut, aren't you, partner? Partner? 50-50. That sounds fair to me. I mean, hey, I'm the one that has to supply all the meat. All you have to do is cook it, however many ways you want. I've got a little surprise. I've been saving this for the day when we had something to celebrate. Uh -huh. I'd almost given up on the idea. I want to put it on some ice. No, uh, no, um, oh, mm, honey, no, I'm, 
I'm really tired. We've been here all day. Why, why don't we uh, go out and celebrate, okay? Oh, Fred, what's the matter with you? Maybe he had a vision. Schwartzberg just ordered second. He's the restaurant critic for the Daily Bugle. Do you know what that means? It means we're a hit. It means he loves us. Really? You see, Fred? It's your dream come true. It's exactly the way you wanted it. We are all going to be filthy rich. <laughs> yeah. Guess we are. Hey, you know, it's not bad. Hmm, that is actually damn good. Hmm, yes, yes, we are going to be rich. There you go, sir. Rare and juicy, what you order. Hey, Phil, how you doing? Usual? My wife wants to know why I never eat at the house anymore. I told her, honey, if you make a steak like these guys, I'd never leave the house. <laughs> hey, we got a break on your landlord. Seems there was this metal in the blood sample we took from the car. Very unusual alloy. Came from a brand of knife they don't make anymore. We're checking the company's records, see who they sold it to. I bet we ID the killer any day now. Five, fifty-six, fifty-seven. $7,857. We better start thinking about expanding. I gotta go tell Fred. dollars. <laughs> that is our best day yet. What's eating you? Don't say that. You hear me? Don't say that. I don't get you. I... I'm going home. You heard what Phil said. They're on to it. We've had it. Well, maybe we ought to think about putting Phil on the menu. He's a cop, for Christ's sake. Listen, why don't you just go on home, I'll clean up. No, I'm going to clean up. I got to think. Suit yourself. There's got to be a way out of this. See you tomorrow. I didn't mean to frighten you. Do you mind if I come in for a minute? Why? I'm worried about Fred. Well, it makes two of us. I don't know what's wrong with him. I do. He's feeling guilty. Irma, I don't know how to tell you this. It's Fred. He's been killing people. What? Too horrible. This whole secret recipe thing, 
It's Fred's idea. It's not mine. Art, are you telling me that we've been... What do you think he's been doing every night that he stays at the restaurant late? I saw him the first time when he killed Mr. Chumley. I promised to keep his secret, but I can't do it anymore. I'm scared for him, Irma. He knows the cops are on to him. He told me tonight that he's going to kill himself. He took your gun. Oh, my God. I'm going to go back to the restaurant to try and stop him. Now, you call Farley and tell him to get down there right oh my away. Oh, God. Irma, it's going to be okay. distraught couple. The cops closing in. They were arguing, officer, when I got here. It was horrible. He picked up a cleaver and he fired! You said that Fred was going to kill himself using my gun. Fred knows. I never put any bullets in my gun. Nope, never. I won't let her. Thanks for the phone call, honey. He got here just when you said he would. Now, what are we going to do with him? I don't know. He has such a big mouth. Big mouth? I say he died. Ah! Ah! Officer! Officer! Officer, thank God you made it. Here are the killers. They killed Chumley. And who knows who else? Yeah, yeah. What to do? What to do? What do you mean? Arrest them? Yeah, I could do that, but you see, I've developed this taste. And this would solve my early retirement problem. Something to do with myself. Farley's flame broiled sound okay to you guys? Sounds pretty good to me, Phil. What do you think, Irma? I think it sounds downright mouth-watering, Fred. Then fire it up. I'm starving. It's already hot. No, no, 